All right, happy to be back um, with Cedric to talk about our centering skills. And this centering skill we call positive reframing. And the moment of inquiry for this, right, the moment that we pause and ask ourselves is, how can I see the glass half full um, and, and find a different perspective? And one of the things we talk about within centering skills as a whole and the resilience continuum is that we are all resilient, right? That's the name of our program because inherently we have resilience and um, we use these skills by any other name. So my question to you is positive reframing, just, just as we were talking about, uh, you use that skill, but use some different terms for it. How, what's your term for positive reframing? So I call it green frame. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, positive framing, green frame, negative framing, red frame, right? Um, and basically, it's just your outlook. Mm -hmm. You know, your outlook on life, your outlook on your job, your outlook on everything, really. Um, I think it really changes how you approach situations, how you interact and socialize with people. You know what I mean? Green no, frame, and, yeah. Positive framing, negative framing. Right. You know? Yeah. When I think it's like, how do I actually see the world, right? What are the lenses through which I perceive that situation? And we talk about um, this idea of how important and powerful language is and the language we use to ourselves. Right. And so one of the awarenesses in this skill that we really like to focus on is for someone uh, leveraging one of our earlier skills called noticing myself, what are what is the story that I'm telling to myself about this situation? And in order to sort of accept what is that there is and not my control, how can I see this same story um, in a new uh, in a new way um, outside of my own internal dialogue? So what are the words I'm saying to myself that create the narrative internally that throw me off center? And how can I pivot or reframe my perspective and tell myself a new, more empowering story? Um, any any t uh, uh, times in your life where positive reframing or green framing, uh, you were aware of that difference and how it might have helped you? Um, I mean, yeah, I have, actually I have a lot of moments where the red <laughs> I have a lot of moments where I start off red frame mm. you know they just and that's just really based on maybe an experience I had with a person or a situation right and where the outcome wasn't great or you know having the conflicts with coworkers at work, right? And being able to switch the narrative and, you know, make it more of an, they're my ally, you know, versus my enemy, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, there's been times where <clears throat> I really had to total switch like like that because I have a meeting with this person and you know in order for my team to be successful this relationship needs to be successful mm -hmm. so how do I do that well I, I can't do that if I go in you know already loaded and ready to shoot mm -hmm. you know yeah you might feel like that but on the other hand it's like well what am I doing wrong Right. Or what is my what is my body language saying? Or what 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 am I projecting out? What am I putting out in the atmosphere? Right. Is it negative that I'm putting out? That's why I'm receiving it. I mean, there's so many things that could that portray that. So I just feel it's better when you know my mom used to say, you know, trash in, trash out. Yeah. You know, what about positive in, positive out? Right. It's the same. It's the same method. So I would rather have that positive come back to me versus right. that negative energy coming back. We both right. don't like. We all don't like that. Right. Right. 
Well, and it starts with that awareness of even the question that you ask yourself, what is my body language saying and how am I uh, making known to the room and to that person at an energetic level, I'm kind of coming in tight, I'm kind of coming in hot. And your ability to sort of breathe and then show up with that more positive um, affect, right? We call that co-regulating. I right? sort of bring into the room uh, the energy that I would like uh, to be living in. And that's uh, a great concrete example of what we call our positive reframing skill, uh, as Cedric calls it, uh, red frame to green frame. So thank you for your time. Appreciate it.